I try to focus on, you know, so let's say a challenging behavior happens in the classroom and trying to share the positive things that happen in the classroom, I think is important with the teacher, with the family, not just the challenging behavior. Absolutely. Because if there, you, if there were seven hours in the day that the child was there and they did one thing that was mm-hmm. challenging, they had a lot of instances of very positive things that happened. And so we want to share that. So then let's say that the child, one of the ch- children was one of the ones fighting over the, the car that we talked about earlier. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have spent a, just a little bit of time helping them breathe and handle their disappointment that they couldn't have a turn right then. So I might share with the parent, well, Leslie chose to do a uh, balloon breathing today when she was felt frustrated because she couldn't have a, a turn with the truck. And so she threw the truck, but we did some balloon breathing afterwards. And that's how she handled her distress. Maybe you can practice balloon breathing when we feel frustration because we all feel frustration sometimes. So I'm going to use that moment to teach them what I did with the child to help them solve their problem. And I love that. So Leslie, I would in that scenario, cause I've done this before, yeah. I would include the child in yes. that conversation because they're yeah. waiting for you to say yes. they threw the truck. And so I might say, you know, we had a little bit of a challenge, but here's how they turned it around. Yes. And I, I'm so proud of them. And I know they feel proud too. Yes. 